Okay, in this episode, we're going to talk about the Peely Nut. I have tried these Peely Nuts, especially from this brand, and they are really good. And when I first tasted them, I was very surprised by the fact that they taste so buttery. I just was amazed. How could this nut taste so buttery? But we're going to start with this website, even though this is their website is you have to be careful when you look at a business's website but they give all the essential stuff on the front and then i'll have all these other sources for you to look at later on i'll have this links in the description but the peeling nuts are another nut that are high in fat low in carb uh and relatively low in proteins it about has three grams of protein per serving the benefits of this over the macadamia nut is that these protein profiles are a complete source of protein. The macadamia nuts are low in lysine and I think methionine. Don't quote me on that, but I know lysine is one of them. So you can look that up as well. But these peely nuts are beneficial for pretty much the same reason as macadamia nuts. And they will go by the way. Uh, they have the highest amount of magnesium. Magnesiums have different properties like uh, helping you sleep, stuff like that. We'll go into a magnesium in a later video when we actually dive deeper into the research and the information about each one. That's going to take longer than just going over the foods. But they help fight inflammation, pretty much any of the good nuts or fruit or whatever i try to stay away from fruit because they're higher in carbs but with those antioxidant compounds they can help fight inflammation they lower ldl cholesterol that's mainly because they have omega-3 fatty acids now a lot of people in america especially i think specifically america western countries will say that they have a higher concentration of omega-6 fatty acids than omega-3 and i think that's where the stigma of fat i think that's where that comes from because since you have a higher omega-6 ratio which is unhealthy then you get all these problems like risks of heart attack and stuff that comes from fat but if you actually eat the good fats which will come from either PD nuts, macadamia nuts, meat, and then a range of other things versus these highly processed stuff, these vegetable oils, seed oils, then you'll be in good shape. And then they'll talk about antioxidants uh, and has regeneration because it's going to give you the different minerals and resources that you need. One of those, including magnesium. And then this talks about all the different nutrients that help goes into the bones. We'll go over that in future videos because I've read somewhere about at least one of the minerals, probably calcium, that you don't need as much as people say you need. Of course, you can't trust the government when it comes to giving you information about your health because they, they have the food uh, pyramid and all that stuff. But America is still getting more overweight more obese over time and then with big companies selling unhealthy things like coca-cola monsanto all these other things you know they're gonna have a part it's all run by money so you can't trust the government you have to do research on your own and then keep your brain in shape that's going to help uh, antioxidants are going to help with that minerals are going to help with that all that stuff so now we're going to go to the other sources which pretty much they did a good job of putting all the information in one place these are just other sources to pretty much like corroborate what they're saying so just to make sure they just don't lie about some random stuff because you know you got to be careful about companies uh this one's talk about digestion that wasn't mentioned but i don't have a digestion problem so if you do have a digestion problem you can read that section it doesn't have fiber but it contains something that acts as something like a laxative and that's going to be in one of these other resources where it talks about that and the side effects of it i will talk about the side effects and one of the side effects is well, not side effects uh, sounds like a drug uh one of the drawbacks is it's high in fat 
and if you're trying to lose weight then you, you, calories still matter to some degree but calories are less important than what people think but still calories do matter and that's an issue with the peely nuts and the macadamia nuts you can overeat though for and i know from first hand experience like i can eat an entire package in one day it's like they're they're just so good so just try to control yourself but you might not be a fan of all this stuff so you might be bitter okay so this tells you complete source of protein i'll let all of you reach uh i'll read that on your own all of these good stuff but i just wanted to tell you about the peeling up peeling nuts are cool peeling nuts are good and thanks for watching